driving. We're going look, looking for Boyd Wood, which we missed yesterday in field investigation number 102. Today's field investigation number 103. And once again, I messed up, didn't find it. And uh, we are on our way to Route 254 North. And of course I went on 63. And uh, so yeah, that's it. Got a few tricks for you today. And I was asked a question, why do I pick these places um, that are sort of off the charts and not places that have like Dudley Town, people in Connecticut would know that. And uh, like I could go to Lake Warramog where the Bigfoot sighting was a couple years back in December, right around Christmas. Um, because I just think if you get to these you know, if you're going to investigate, then go search for the, the evidence. Go look for it. Don't, don't just chase reports. We love reports, but, you know, find them where they are. So, uh, this is, again, field investigation number 103. And we actually made it here to the Audubon here, the Audubon place, Boyd Wood. So, it does exist. So, there we are. We have concrete proof of Boyd Wood. It's real. It's not just a legend. Can, uh, stop speculating. All right, we'll see you in there. And we're out here with CSIS having fun. Let us know. Uh, today is February 11th, 2.30. It's raining heavy and it's 39 degrees, just like yesterday. One thing's um, remarkable about this place is is sort of the opposite of yesterday. Uh, we got open fields and stretch lands. You got well marked trails. It's Autobahn. Um, the birds are just everywhere. And uh, I have a couple tricks. And we'll go down and try it a little further down. Uh, we got open fields here and farmland back there. And then these thickets here. These, wild roses and blackberry bushes a lot of food i mean obviously a lot of a lot of food here because there's a lot of birds right here we have these game trails and everything all these everything's pushed down this way and uh big deer possibly bear coming through here look at this wide almost as wide as my load bearing hips here <laughs> And uh, something big moving along here, moving along the stone wall. Gonna be again, kind of like the river, natural uh, flow of movement and easy navigation. All right, we'll see you down there. Uh, huge animal tracks here. I mean, just huge. Man, that goes way down. Uh, again, you know these. This place is cool, a uh, lot of game trails, and we'll go down and, and try something in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna try something different, okay? So we're, we're out here looking for cryptids, that's what we do, which is an unidentified animal, animal unknown to science. Um, let's take the thylacine though, maybe it's an animal that they consider extinct but came back. Uh, in the case of Bigfoot, you have a fossil record, uh, you have Gigantopithecus. Let's assume a small population survived across the land bridge from Siberia into what's today Alaska and down into North America and then tucked away places. You're dealing with a, a highly intelligent animal. Okay, let's just go with that premise. So you want to try different things. They live out here, They're far more adapt to this than you will ever hope to be. Uh, if you see them, they're aware of you well before you are of them. So we're going to try something different. Do you hear that? And have fun with it, right? It's a train whistle. Bet they ain't never heard one of them. <laughs> See if we hear something.
So Boyd Woods has a lot more sounds um, than the, the last place. There's a lot of birds here. Alright, we'll move on down and try something else. Okay, so we just tried a train whistle. This is field investigation number 103. I said yesterday and neglected to mention the name of where we were. We were at Wigwam Brook State Forest, Wigwam Wildlife Refuge, and we are here right by Wigwam. This is again Boyd's Wood. I got the uncle of the other rock. We're going to sit here and talk to the rock a bit. Have you had any sightings of squatch down here? You want stone cold silent on me? Stop talking to me right now. Your brother was more talkative. Bird noises here. There's hickory and butternut all over the uh, the, the floor of the forest here. I'm going to try a turkey call and see if we get some responses. We, uh, we've been hearing rumbling noises. This is a very, a lot of big animals are here, a lot of tracks. Let's try this. Birds definitely like it, and there are there are cryptids of very large birds. I've had a first-hand experience with one in Maine. We're talking the size of hang gliders. things in the world. Colin Haskins from the Connecticut Cryptid Investigative Society inviting everyone to come on out and try this. Um, we'll have some, try to post some events. We're going to go to Robin Swamp in March and uh, check out our YouTube and Facebook pages and Please post your stuff, your thoughts, uh, anything, any of your evidence. And if you have a confidential report, you want us to come look into it, give us a message. This place is cool. Beautiful hike. It's, it's a gorgeous place, but let's do some call taps. Uh, I think we aroused the suspicion of at least some male turkeys at the very least. one and then we'll do two we're gonna wait Hit it. I didn't, it's nothing personal. Okay. Moving on. Boyd Woods, awesome place. So when you
you're out investigating, you're just out there in these, not, you know, sort of unpopular places. It's not, it's not a state park. Um, you come across something like this, look at this, just the whole top of this tree just blown in half, bent over. It's got to be a good 60 foot. Just humongous, incredible sight. We're out here looking for cryptids. Uh, just, you know, just to go to different places and see what's out there for yourself. Um, give us your reports. Let us know if you've had any encounters. We'll come check it out. But we're here today. Boyd Woods, loving it. It's a great place. Check it out yourself. Okay, so myself and the team have been out here a couple days now. Waiting for this bus to come by, and, and I don't think it's coming. I just don't think the bus is coming. What do you think? Yeah, oh, we're just going to move on. Bus isn't coming today, or yesterday, or any other day. Make sure you read the fine print in the brochure before you, you come to Boyd Wood. And I was not even sure it existed because I couldn't find it twice. But we're here, but the buses definitely aren't running right through here. Um, Check the internet, we'll find out where they are running for you next time. 45 degrees, it's 4 o'clock. Um, we're back at the beginning of the parking lot, obviously, can hear. We picked up our pamphlet, and of course, the copy of, uh, a copy of Chickadee Chatter. It wouldn't be complete without Chickadee Chatter. It's a nice place. It's got the maps here. We did this one along the conifer plantation and the early successional trees, and we came along a wigwam brook down this way, and we're back. We came up this end. Here we are back there. Uh, there's all this that we haven't checked out. Looks really nice. Um, but here we are again. Watch out for Lyme disease. This is a nice little little information booth, and uh, we are here. I don't know why I'm here, but no dogs are allowed. But here I am, wet golden retriever that I am. Um, I'm going to give this uh, on the squatchometer. Um, we're going to give Wigwam Brook Wildlife Sanctuary and Forest that we were at yesterday about a 3.5 out of 5. Wigwam Brook. And I'm going to give uh, Boyd's Woods, unfortunately, a 2.2 .2 because it just wasn't squatchy. What it is, is there's a lot of birds, they have bird feeders throughout this whole place. So if you like birds, if you're into ornithology, instead of zoology, um, uh, cryptozoology, this is your place to come. This is, this is the birdiest, most aviated place that I've ever been to. Um, got hiking sticks here, and of, of course, get your donation bin. Um, Boyd's Wood, I, very nice, beautiful, well-maintained trails. Um, just not very squatchy, but we're here with CSIS on location.